Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. How'd your weekend go? Hey, I, I wish I could say it was full of fun and excitement, but it was mostly a lot of exercise and yard work and, like, cooking stuff for the week ahead so oh, yeah, really? oh, okay. <laughs> it was a definitely a downtime kind of downtime yeah, yeah. <laughs> a labor of love lots yeah. of yeah. lots of time spent in my pajamas and resetting for the week ahead i'm doing some out of town for the next two weeks i'm gonna be out of town a few days each week so i've got like stuff i just need to take care of before i oh. before i hit the road for some work stuff so it all set mm-hmm. up and everything mm-hmm. yeah, good deal good deal yeah that's... yeah Nothing going on this weekend, so uh, you you were at home. You right. Got a now, to get, I mean, we don't get that often, you know what I mean? So. Honestly, yeah. Like, when it happens once in a while, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe I don't have this grand story to tell about something silly that happened over my weekend. But, you know, like, at the same time, too, it's nice to get some sleep once in a while. So. Yeah. <laughs> and to do real-life projects, you know, real, you know, stuff that's just yeah. everyday thing, you know. So, yeah, some stuff. time to be a human. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Yeah, as we were talking earlier, mm-hmm. we had a rough weekend, me yeah. and uh, we lost our dog Connor. I'm you know, so sorry. He was with us for quite a few years. Uh, mm-hmm. My mom, when she passed away, I inherited him and a cat, and then the mm-hmm. cat passed away about seven, eight years ago. Mm-hmm. But Connor was with us the whole time, and Junior only knew him. He knew he yeah. was there as a baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Yeah. Because Junior's nine. And, Connor was with us like, mm. what, 10, 11 years. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, you do the math, and it's like, yeah, so it was really rough on him. But Absolutely. Uh, both yeah. of us, you know, because, hey, I loved the little bugger, too. But, you know, he gave a good run. Yeah. He was one of the best dogs I ever had, you know, I mean, for inheriting and going, oh, crap, I didn't, you know, I wasn't going to take on no animals. Right, oh, yeah. Sudden, boom, you know, you are, Getting like, it instead of good. choosing it, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. I'm just glad I was able to be there, you know, for that and everything. Yeah. Like so it was great because he has been one of the best dogs. I'm a... I'm a Doberman fancier or, you know, larger dogs, you know, and okay. I've had shepherds and stuff like that mm-hmm. over my lifetime. And it's like uh, this little dog, you know, <laughs> and he ends up being like big. I said, man, you got to be running with, the, you know, them other dogs. In yeah. And that's for sure. I'll see you yeah. all when I come. Yeah. 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 You're so, so buddy. Yeah. yeah. So that's what happened this weekend and everything mm-hmm. like that. So, bummer. yeah. So. Well, I hope uh, uh, Junior's OK. And yeah. I hope he's, uh, it'll t- you know, when, when you lose a pet for the first time, yeah. it's always tough. But yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he'll. Well, you know, he keeps saying yeah, he he's, in, he's in a better place, and he was, yeah. and we knew he knew that the dog was suffering too. You know, a certain yeah. ways, like his back legs were giving out on him, as I was telling yeah. him and stuff, and he couldn't see hardly in here. I mean, just old sure. dog. I mean, sixteen, seventeen years old. Hey, you it's know, a good life for, dog, a, 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 good for a dog. Yeah, yeah, them yeah. little buggers. But he was good all the way to the end there. You know, so mm-hmm. there we go. So that's the sad news on that one. Mm-hmm. But. uh yeah, that's kind of what we did this weekend, and I hope everybody got out there. I, there was some bunch of stuff going on this weekend. Some of my vendors got confused and thought the Bodacious Bazaar, mm. because when I first promoted I the thing and everything, uh-huh. uh, one of the people who did our poster had put the wrong dates on. Okay. But it's, or I gave the wrong date, whatever. It was mm-hmm. an accident. It was on there, but they got that one. I see. And it's like, I tried to do the, send out the new one and everything I got, but there was like a few people down there, I guess, this weekend. But the Bodacious Bazaar is going to be this weekend coming up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you uh, go. For real. For real. So, Absolutely. Hey, anyways, I got, hope everybody got there and had some fun this last weekend. And we got a bunch of stuff to tell you about here. Before we go, we'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows here at KCIW, you just go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Hey, and before we get going here, we got a guest here from the house from Beacon Bod Band, and it's not Bill. It, it's Scott Paul. Hey, Scott, how you doing? Hey, Bruce. Hey, Kat. Morning, everybody. Hi. Good morning. Yeah, so you're on coming on with the Internet Report this week. You got yeah. the rate. Right. Well, it was Bill's birthday this weekend, right? He Bill's said, birthday. So he said, Scott, you get to go work for me while I go enjoy some time with the niece out in Nashville. And so All he's right. hanging out in Nashville, that's getting right. some good food, good wine. Yeah, good for him. Groovy. Good for him. <laughs> that's groovy. Well, I got some questions for you. Uh, I understand you did a survey recently, and a uh, survey was more like in the lines of, would you recommend Beacon Broadband to a family member, a friend, or a fellow worker? What kind of feedback did you get on that one? Yeah, no, we uh, we did really well on that one. We, uh, we call it the Net Promoter Score. It's kind of the nationally ranked for retail, communications, teleconference. Uh, it's kind of our... It's our it's our scorecard. What oh. do our customers say about our brand? Oh, that's good. Yeah, and they could say one. I'm not willing to recommend your brand to anybody, or they can say ten. I'm very likely to recommend my neighbor. 
Um, overall, the, the communications and the telecommunications industry as a whole averages around a 30. So between a negative 100 and a positive 100, 30 is kind of where everybody lands. Well, Beacon Broadband uh, brought in an 86. So we're very proud of that number. Oh, cool, yeah. Um, and we're diving into each survey that we got. We received over 500 surveys in total, and we're starting to dive and peel back the layers of each one. And one of the big things that came up is people are almost not calling us when they're having a problem. And so it took this survey for them to bring and raise some conditions, and they, they didn't know how. And so uh, contact us by phone. Email us at support at Beacon Broadband, but uh, that was one of the pieces that we found that we're going to close that gap and we're going to score much higher than 86 next go around. Oh, right on, right on. Very cool, very cool. And then, uh, uh, yeah, when Bill was here last time, uh, he was talking about the fiber going into uh, going into Gold Beach. Oh, yeah. So uh, can you give our listeners to where Beacon Broadband is now providing service? <laughs> it's our number one question. When? Well, I, When's it coming to my house? That's it right there. Um, so where are so, you now? Yeah. So we're in the, believe it or not, we are actually building in Port Orford right now. So okay. if you're a Coos Curry Electric Cooperative member and you want Beacon service, we can go all the way north, um, just right past the prehistoric garden up there before Humbug Mountain. Mm-hmm. So we're past uh, Cedar Bend Golf Course. We're, oh, okay. we're all the way up in there. And we've actually already run all the lines in Port Orford. Uh, for Fama, we just got to splice it all into one long continuous cable before we connect customers. And so that bigger portion of Port Orford, including uh, uh, the Elk River, will be sometime end of October, sometime into November. And then the northern half of Port Orford will be by the end of this year before we're moving north. So Langloy is uh, already uh, under construction as we speak. So we're about to cross into Coos County. I was just going to say, you're going to be hitting uh, Bay, Band in Coos Bay, all that area, all yeah. the way up to there. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we won't be up to Coos Bay just as much, but definitely most of Coos County. Anywhere really? Coos Curry's at, we'll be there. Yeah, right on. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. And, you're, and so you're the... You're the guru of the customer service department That's there. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had three primary reasons our customers were willing to recommend friends and family. The first one was that uh, we're, we have a good service and reliability, right? And so when I think about that, I think about a fiber to the home solution that gives you fast internet access to health, home, uh, education, Netflix, whatever right. you want to do with the internet, it's giving you that fast connection. But we're not just doing it in town here in Brookings and in town in downtown Gold Beach. We're doing it in all rural areas of, of Curry County. So you could live at the end of the Winchuck, at the end of uh, North Bank uh, on the Rogue River, and you're going to have that same access that people in downtown Gold Beach or heck, even downtown Portland have today. Right. Um, our customer service was number two. I'm proud of that. Number two, I'm going to make it number one, but service reliability. I guess without that, customer service it could be anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it's that we're a local office. Uh, we're part of the Coos Curry Electric family. Um, and to be honest, m- my team and our employees, our family, is part of your family. Like we, we hire local. We're here-based local. And then the third reason was the value in our service and with our price for life. And you guys have, you haven't heard Bill say price for life. No, that's good. Uh, that's yeah. every, time he's, every time he's here, price for life. But that was number three from our customers is that we're not going to change your rate. Your rate today is your rate 10 years from now. So those are the top three reasons. Who wouldn't love that? But that all came from our customers. Good deal. Well, that's great. Hey, well, thanks for coming on and doing the uh, covering for Bill for the internet report there with Scott Paul. Yeah. All right. Get broadband. Thanks, Appreciate Chris, it. Thanks, Kat. Yeah. Thanks for being here. <laughs> All righty, so here we go. Always good to get the internet report, fishing report, internet report. We got the reports here, I'll tell you. I know. And now it's time for the Insider Report Music Scale. The Music Report. (laughs) There we go. Report. Well, let's start things off at the Elk Valley Casino. Over at their Betty Green Center on the 28th, they're going to have a truck giveaway. And for information about that event, you can go to elkvalleycasino.com. And then over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, music there starting at 7.30 each night. On the 27th and 28th, Lon Goddard's going to play. Yeah, and then Cisco will be playing on the 28th at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 29th of September at the House of Jambalaya in Crescent City. Music there starts at 1 o'clock. Yeah, and the Italian guys on the 29th, they'll be at Augustino Wine Tasting Room, 3 p.m. And Black GTO is playing on the 27th of September at Porta Pints down in Crescent City, 7 to 10 p.m. Yep, and Lon Goddard, you can catch him on the 26th to 27th at Elk Valley Casino. And Misty Mountain Brewing, where music runs from 6 to 8, a little doubling up here on the 27th, it's going to be Lon Goddard. 
Yep, Mike Powell, he'll be playing on the 27th at the Checkco Brewing Company, 6 to 8. So there we go. All Next right. week we'll have the October one because I'm getting them all in as we speak. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's coming up out. sooner than you think. Yeah, all right. But, but, uh, no, I'll be going at it, yes. I know. Speaking of things like coming up on me sooner than I think, weekly and yes. monthly events over at the Checkco Library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. For weekly events on Mondays uh, through the month of September at 5.30 p.m., they've got a Spanish speaker's walk. Walking group. This is a fitness and conversations group for Spanish speakers. And then Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their weekly story time. They've got stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. Also on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m., they have a chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. And for activities on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m., they've got another free chair yoga class. Again, it's a beginner's class. It focuses on seated positions. And then in the evening at 5.30 on Thursdays, they have an easy flow yoga class. This is also a beginner's class. It includes standing poses. It is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor for this class. And then through September on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then looking ahead at some monthly and special events for the end of September, beginning of October. On Wednesday, September 25th at 1 o'clock, they've got their monthly free art workshop with Tori. Join volunteer and local artist Tori for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials are always provided. This workshop is geared toward adult artists and crafters. And then on Thursday, the 26th at 4 p.m., they've got Lego Club. Lego builders and enthusiasts of all ages are invited to a free open building session in the library's youth section. And then heading into October here in special events, on Saturday, October 5th, they're launching Afternoon Indie Films. They're partnering with the Wild Rivers Film Festival to host free monthly screenings of the best films from the Wild Rivers Film Festival's 2024 season. This month, we're screening the award-winning 1979 film Spirit of the Wind, and a Q&A session will follow that screening, and that's going to be at 2 p.m. And then on October 8th and 22nd at 5.30, they have Game Nights at Checo Brewing Co. This is an open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's growing board game collection. It's hosted at Checo Brewing Co. at their location at 830 Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or you can bring one of your favorites to share. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community. And there's plenty of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they have to be accompanied and supervised by an adult guardian. And game nights happen every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And it's going to be continuing through at least October. And then on Saturday, October 12th at 2 p.m., they've got their Fall Poetry Slam. Poetry lovers of all ages are invited to an event that celebrates the written and spoken word. Poets may recite original poems or they can share a poem by their favorite poet with the group. Sign-ups always begin at the door a half hour before the event starts, and anyone who signs up to perform will be entered to win a door prize. And then looking ahead at some October book clubs at the library... On the 3rd of October at 6 o'clock, there's going to be the Curry Library Directors Book Club. You can join all of the Curry County Library Directors in an online discussion of the book Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. That's a sci-fi selection. You can find the Zoom link. Again, it's an online discussion at checko.librarycalendar.com. And this book club meets online on a quarterly basis. On October 9th at 4 p.m., they've got their monthly Kids Book Club. This is geared towards second through fifth graders, and kids vote on and pick the books that they want to read each month. Then on Thursday, October 10th at 5 p.m., they have Club de Lectora. That's the library's Spanish language book club, and it encourages parents with kids to attend and enjoy an open and welcoming atmosphere. And for more information about these book clubs, any events, programs, or services, anything that the library's got going on, you can visit their library calendar at checkcolibrary.org. You can follow them for updates on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. And hey, now it's time for Quotes from Famous People with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from actor Tommy Lee Jones. He was born on uh, September 15th, 1946. He says, kindness and politeness are not overrated at all. (laughs) They are underused. He says, no director wants to be directed, but no good director would shy away from the good ideas of others. He goes, I do not have a sense of humor of any recognizable sort. And last but not least, human beings are glorious 
and preposterous characters. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Tommy Lee Jones with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yeah, Tommy Lee, I love it. I'm not funny. That was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it was funny. That it was. All right. Let's take a look here at All Care Health. They're having a tobacco cessation workshop called Let's Quit Together. Their next meetings are on the 24th at the Chaco Community Library from 4 to 5 p.m. They also have an option if you're in Gold Beach on the 24th. They're meeting at the Curry Library in Gold Beach from noon to 1 p.m. These workshops are open to all community members. Each workshop consists of six one-hour sessions. And in these sessions, you can pick up tips on how to deal with urges and triggers and how to make healthy choices for you or for someone else. To register for these workshops or to ask any questions, you can call Sandra at 541-471-4106. Sandra's extension is 8216. Yes, indeed. And the Checkco players located at 1240 Checkco Avenue in Brookings are presenting The Weir. This will be playing from 920 to 106. Friday, Saturday showings are 730 p.m. On Sunday, it's 2 p.m. In a remote country pub in Ireland, newcomer Valerie arrives and becomes spellbound by an evening of ghostly stories told by the local bachelors who drink there. With the wind whistling outside, what starts out as Blarney soon darkens as the tales drift into the realm of the supernatural. Then Valerie reveals a startling story of her own. <laughs> so let's see, they got a Friday, Saturday, 7.30, 2 p.m. Sunday. The tickets are 15 for adults and $7 for students. Uh, oh, there is a warning here. Yes, indeed. Adult language and content are in this play. And there's three ways to secure your seat. You can visit checkcopp.booktix.com, buy the tickets at the door, or you can call 541-469-1857 for reservations. Yes, indeedy. All right. And then Crescent City Classic Longbird Surf Competition is coming up on the 28th of September. It's going to be going on all day long on the 28th and on the 29th as well. The Redwood Parks Conservancy is proud to present a two-day longboard surf competition and festival with the Crescent City Harbor District. Folks are invited for two days of thrilling longboard surfing action at South Beach. It's going to include live music, vendors, and a beer garden at the harbor overlooking the beach. Again, that's the 28th and 29th of September, or Saturday and Sunday. Festival hours each day are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Whether you're a seasoned pro or you're just starting out, this event is good for all longboard enthusiasts. You can show off your skills, catch some waves, and compete against other riders in a friendly and fun atmosphere. Don't miss out on the chance to ride the waves and enjoy the sun with fellow longboarders. That's right. And before I get going, look at me, silly person. Okay, so I didn't even write down my own event coming up this weekend. Oh. But this is bizarre. So I'll give a little extra double love here. But first of all, coming up this week, Saturday on the 28th, there'll be the last Brookings Bodacious Bazaar that's going to go on at the Port of Brookings Harbor from 10 to 5. Like I said, on Saturday, the 28th, we'll have vendors and beer garden and music and, uh, yeah, the usual stuff go on down there, and it'll be our last one. And if you're a vendor out there and you want to come down and participate, all you got to do is bring $25 and show up at 8 o'clock in the morning, and you can get yourself a space and be right in the action for the last Brookings Bodacious Bazaar. And now getting on with us, Gold Beach Main Street is presenting Legends Fest at the Curry County Fairgrounds and Event Center. This will be happening on the 4th of October and the 5th of October from noon to 10 p.m. Both days, live music, vendors, beer garden, food trucks, lots of activities that include a bounce house, giant bubble station, a dunk tank. This one gets me right here. I got to find this guy. Axe throwing for kids and adults, face painting, plus more. Bigfoot encounter stories, Hathaway Jones and other tall tales, art contest, photos with Bigfoot, and karaoke there is an entry fee of 15 bucks. Kids 12 and under are free. For more info, you can go to legendsfestgoldbeach.com. All right, this was mentioned briefly in the library rundown, but also coming up here, they are a partner on the event. The Wild Rivers Film Festival is presenting Spirit of the Wind with the Checo Community Public Library. So in partnership with them, they're launching monthly screenings of selected featured films from the August Film Festival. 
And the first showing will be Spirit of the Wind on Saturday, October 5th at 2 p.m. in the Forest Room at the Checo Community Public Library at 405 Alder Street. Spirit of the Wind is a true life story of George Atla, famous Alaskan dog sled driver. Set in the 1950s, this film explores the ways in which a disabled Athabascan youth comes to terms with both his disability and the cultural conflicts he experiences through his gift for dog sledding. Writers Ralph Little and John Logue bring empathy and inspiration to the fore in this beautifully crafted family adventure story. And after the film is done screening, there will be a time for a discussion of the film as well. And for more information about that, you can go to checko.librarycalendar.com. And hey, hey, now it's time for a bit of real history with Bushwhacker Bruce. That's right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of royal history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that Charles II was king even when he wasn't, and that Mary was queen of the Scots as a baby? It's true. And here's the stories. For a brief period in the 1600s, England didn't have a king. Charles I had been removed from the throne and had his head cut off, and he was replaced by Oliver Cromwell, who acted as the Lord Protector. Charles' son, Charles II, ran off to France and seethed a bit. But eventually, Oliver Cromwell died. His son took over, but was rubbish, and so they decided to have a go with the monarchs again. Well, Charles II retook the throne in 1660, and Parliament decided that his reign actually started on the day his father was executed, 11 years earlier. So even though it didn't, and he wasn't even in the country, they sort of pretended that the Cromwell years kind of never happened, and Charles II was king for the whole time. And it's safe to say that Mary, Queen of Scots, had a somewhat troubled life with numerous deaths, murders, kidnappings, and plots against her. The trouble started early for her as her father, the King of Scotland, James V, died when she was just six days old, and she suddenly found herself as the brand new queen. Well, unsurprisingly, it was decided that a baby might not be the best head of state. So her mother ruled on her behalf. But this set the pattern for the rest of her life, as she was rarely allowed to make her own decisions, even when she was out of diaper stage. I hope you enjoyed this week's bit of royal history with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, always keep it real and keep it royal if you can. tragic when you stop and think about yeah. it like no agency even after you grow up it's like wow well, uh, it's a bummer yeah. <laughs> all right well hey the who fair is coming up what does who stand for wholeness health and oneness this is happening on the 5th and 6th from 10 a.m to 4 p.m at 97895 Shopping Center Avenue. That's the shopping center in Harbor. And you can explore energy, abundance, and vibration, tarot readings, Reiki sessions, sound experience, Akashic records, and much more. For more information about this event, you can email Himalayan Harmonious Healing at gmail.com. Yeah. Hey, and the Brookings Emblem Club, number 265, is having a fall rummage sale. This is at the Brookings Elks Lodge on October 11th, 12th, and 13th. Donation drop-off will be accepted on the 11th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Brookings Elks Lodge downstairs venue. Sale begins October 11th at 10 a.m. They look forward to seeing everyone there. Proceeds from sales help those in need in our community. All right. And then also that weekend, there's a Harvest Festival plant sale happening at the Botanical Gardens in Brookings. This is going to be on the 12th of October from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And there's going to be a lot going on there. Live music, apple cider, baked goods, bobbing for apples, face painting, pumpkin painting, a Xerxes Society booth, a Master Gardener's booth. They also offer tours of the garden. And they're also inviting people to celebrate National Indigenous Day and learn more about the local Talawadani Nation. Fun for the entire family is promised here. You can get tickets for the Potted Garden Raffle as well. Again, that's on the 12th of October. Yeah, just remember, if you're uh, going to get your face painted, bob for the apples first. <laughs> <laughs> just a suggestion. Pro tip. Yeah, Someone who's been tip, there before, it feels yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. You look horrible afterwards, <laughs> otherwise. Hey, St. Timothy's Episcopal Church, located at 401 First Street in Brookings, is presenting acoustic soloist Terry Robb. This will be on October 18th, 7 p.m. Terry Robb is a fingerstyle guitarist, singer, composer, arranger, and record producer. 
His work is featured in Hollywood films, documentaries, and biographies such as Game of Thrones, The Horse Whisperer, and Dance of Death, The Life of John Fahey, American Guitarist. He is associated with the American primitive guitar genre through his collaborations with Fahey and is regarded as a virtuoso of acoustic blues guitar. In his multi-decade career, Rob has performed at festivals and concerts halls across the United States, Canada, and Europe. For more information, you can visit www.terryrob.com. Tickets are $20 at the church or at the door the day of the concert. Yeah. Cool. I haven't heard about a concert at the church in a while. I know. That's a, it surprised me. I had to grab Novel. it. It's <laughs> going in the paper, too. It's going Very in cool. the insider. Yeah. Nice. Something, something new. All mm-hmm. right. A Calvary Chapel in Gold Beach, located at 29935 Harbor Way, is hosting an annual First Responders Appreciation Dinner. This is going to happen on the 19th of October from 5 to 7 p.m. This is for police, fire, EMS, sheriff. All first responders are welcome, and they're inviting you to give them the opportunity to serve you. So there you go. That sounds pretty cool. Hey, and Curry County Chamber of Commerce is presenting the Curry County Candy Map. You can join the Small Business Candy Map Fund. The Curry County Chamber of Commerce is thrilled to announce the Halloween Candy Map event in collaboration with local small businesses. On Thursday, October 31st, they'll be handing out Halloween candy and celebrating in style. And they say, attention all small businesses in Curry County. This is your chance to be part of the Halloween magic. You can get your business on the Halloween map and join the festivities. Uh, They encourage you to host a sale, organize an open house, be creative, and have fun. You can serve refreshments. Help make this Halloween unforgettable for the whole community. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to showcase your business and connect with local customers. To participate, you can contact them at Curry County Chamber of Commerce at gmail.com. And they say they can't wait to see all the spooky and fun ways local businesses will be celebrating. All right. And then further up there in Gold Beach, Curry County is presenting a Halloween block walk at the courthouse. And it says candy is going to be handed out by each department located at the courthouse on the 31st of October from 3 to 5 p.m. It says in event of bad weather, the candy will be handed out in the annex hallway. Yes, indoors. Indeed. Yes, All right. indeed. So there we go. Hey, you know what? That's about it for the show here. That was good stuff we made it through all right mm-hmm. and uh yeah we've got a lot of stuff happening in october still that's why i was gonna right. say the fall is like bringing it on yeah. plenty 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 very and, good and this is just happening mm-hmm. i mean i'll have a whole new script i know week. there's yeah. another couple of weeks to go my friend we've got yeah. more to happen yes yeah, so that's mm-hmm. great but hey it's time to close out this week's show before we go i'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers ray and tom for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio i want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's insider report And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows they have to offer. And you can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to KCIW.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well, so you can listen to this anywhere. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. Hey, we're signing off, and please support local businesses. Keep it real. Spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey... We'll, we'll see, see you out there. there. Bam! Boom, shut up. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.